from filling holes to satisfaction. Today I'd like to speak to you about uh, spaces within you and they may be spaces where there's um, where you're experiencing fear and you're looking for something to address that, something to answer to it so that you're not feeling so panicked and so anxious about things. I know that so many of us are feeling anxiety, um, anger, frustration, fear, fear for the health of yourself, your loved ones, and really seriously concerned about the future. I've spoken to so many people about this in the, in the last days. So I'll try and address this on, um, well, from different points of awareness to be helpful to you. So firstly, if you're holding a lot of fear, I just want to say this to you, and I understand the fear. Obviously, I understand the fear, but this one simple thing is incredibly true. The fear has never served anyone. Now, that's not a judgment on the fear. I'm not judging you for it. I'm not judging myself because obviously I felt fear too, but I'm saying it doesn't serve you. Um, it won't make you think better. It won't make you feel better. It won't make your loved ones feel better. It doesn't help you to uh, come to better, clearer decisions or be more at peace in any way. There's no advantage to that for you. I know why it's there. You know why it's there. But let's try this instead. Let's just accept the presence of it. Accept it. Lean into it. Let yourself feel it and breathe, simply breathe. I, I know I say that all the time, but it is the one thing that will bring you into the present moment that's truly simple. So just breathe. If you like, and it sounds um, like maybe a sort of uh, whimsical thing to do, but it's not, bring your hands together against your chest. Consider that like a, a circuit, if you will, in your body and breathe. Close your eyes and just breathe and breathe deeply so that the, you, you feel the air. Expand your whole body and then let it out and do that several times. And you'll find if you do that several times, you'll feel calmer. What I want to say to you is we have this notion, and I've said this once before today, that we're in control of things. And, and so we get really scared when something like this happens because obviously it, it's feeling like we're not in control and there's not anything that we can do about it. So obviously do all the sensible things. You know what the advice is and I know it's changing day by day. Do those things, so the hand washing and the social distancing and the, the, the isolation or the social, social isolation from people, um, keeping your distance if you have to go to the shops and all those things. When there's this much fear around and um, when we're contending with something such as this, it's, it's good advice, but you don't have to, you don't have to um, run with this. Be, this fear and let it grow and develop what you can choose to do and one of the things I say to people frequently is if you think of a time and I, I know these times are unprecedented but think of a time when you were dealing with something that you were scared of at the time but for some reason anything at all in your life it doesn't matter what it is for some reason you were able to meet that thing so a job interview or a conversation with somebody or to do something new that you were scared of, whatever it might have been. Can you remember a time like that where you felt like that? Um, but then you you very much move through that fear. Now there will be something like that in your life. Think of one of those times, and think of the all. Think of it in all the detail. Think of how you felt, what you could smell, what you could hear, what you could touch, what you were wearing. Think of the color. Bring yourself fully into that uh, memory. And that also reminds your body that you've moved through and beyond fear before and that you can do it again. It can be really a helpful thing to bring you into presence. Um, take a shower, ground yourself. That's helpful too. Try that. Um, listen to some music. 
always very good. All these things can help, but I, I'll say it again, the fear you're feeling will not help you to make better decisions. So you can choose to engage with it, or you can choose to bring yourself into presence and keep bringing yourself back to that point and breathe and try to let it go. Now, back to the point about control. So, you know, this is very much dependent on a belief system, but I want to say that this is happening all over the world to many, many people. And we have an opportunity now, like never before, to live by what we've kind of been referring to is that we 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 need to have a world um, where we're not actually damaging our environment. We need to give our environment a break, which is happening through no deliberate effort that we said we're going to have a worldwide environmental um, ho holiday for the environment. We never decided that. It simply happened. Um, we're at the point where we needed to connect with ourselves and with each other more profoundly because there's a terrible or has been a terrible disconnect between human beings or we wouldn't be in this situation. And so now people are connecting in an unprecedented way, which is really a beautiful thing. Um, I know that we're scratching around looking for reasons for this. Where did it start? Why is it happening, etc.? And I find that when I get really overwhelmed with things like that, what I do is come back to something very simple. I, I do that a lot, actually. So I come back to my breathing. Um, I calm the busy thoughts. I just focus on what's right in front of me. Uh, I try and be present to the, to the offerings in the moment, a cup of tea, a conversation with a friend. I had a couple of really lovely conversations with some friends in India earlier today. So enjoyable. Um, and one of them was telling me, and it made me laugh a lot, um, he, he's as worried as anyone is about where this is headed, how this might impact him, but in the case of this person, because he's so very much focused on his loved ones, he's concerned for his family members. And um, he. it happens that he's staying in a hotel, um, at this time because that's what he does and he's got this he's in this hotel almost on his own with a cook and I started laughing at one point and I thought it's all a matter of perspective but there he is in a beautiful really truly beautiful um, place in the world extraordinary in a lovely comfortable hotel um, with a cook and he doesn't have to work it happens that the cooks there with him cooking food for him each day and then I burst out laughing and I I thought to myself and I'm sure he was getting it too you know yes he had his worries and that's again understandable but there he was in this amazing spot in the world in a hotel on his own and so I look at my own situation and I'm lucky to have a roof over my head and I'm very grateful for it as it happens I practically have two of them I'm about to move on the first of April not my intention not what I was Imagining when I signed the lease, I had no idea that this was all this was all coming, but that's that's what's happening. And so um, I'm grateful for all of these moments uh, that we can enjoy life and that I can share things like this with you. So why is it happening? Well, I'm not really actually focusing on that. I'm focusing on how can I in each moment greater connect to myself and to anybody I happen to be in contact with and how how close to presence can I be in those moments that we share something and that's all that really matters to me actually at this point it's it's what this has done is it's simplified life um, in some ways while giving us immense worries and complications about the framework of life that we have been living it's just simplified that um, this space that we're in right now so I don't know if these words make sense I'm hoping they do I'm like I said I'm, I'm full of this house move but I wanted to share something with you and I wish you well as these days pass I'm definitely thinking about you if any of you would like to speak to me you know you can contact me I'm happy to set up a Skype call and we can have a chat